By default, an antics set is lit environmentally and uniformly with ambient light, which can be altered using set properties, seen in another tutorial. To add more realism and atmosphere to the antics sets, user-defined lights can also be created. In this short scene in Jessica Spell's Trouble, a bug magically opens on her bedside cabinet, and to reinforce this, a light can be placed in the room to give the appearance of a soft glow emanating from the book. To begin with, I select the Create Light tool, and in this instance, I'm going to click on the room's floor to add the light, although you could use a wall or other object as the target instead. The light is actually placed at floor height, so I'll now select the Move Rotate Object Subobject tool and click and drag on the Z-axis constraint arrow. Here I'm positioning it just above the book. As this is done, you can see that the light now illuminates the room. And bear in mind that it's also now overriding the original set provided ambient lighting. So this is now the only light source on the set. To produce the required effect, the light's properties need to be tweaked. And these are accessed like other object properties by right clicking on the light to access the properties window. The first requirement from the General tab is the light colour which defaults to white. By clicking on the menu, a new colour can be chosen from the colour picker and in this instance I'll set it to a soft pink. Remember to click apply for the change to take effect like this. Attenuation allows you to set values affecting how the light decays or falls off depending on its distance from the objects being illuminated. In this case, I'll type in a new quadratic attenuation of the value 0.05. And if I now click Apply, you can see that the radius of the illumination is much more localised. The status property allows you to turn the light on or off, which also mirrors the switch icons in the light toolset here. This is also a timeline recordable property. When adding objects such as lights or cameras, it's considered best practice to rename them as they're created to promote clarity and ease of editing should this become necessary. From the view menu, choose the set list. Then double click on the lights folder and right click on the newly created light, choosing rename. I'll call this book glow. Notice that I'm not using any spaces in the title as Antics disqualifies these as part of the naming convention. Press return or enter on the keyboard to effect the change. You can continue adding lights to the set and change their properties at any time. 